This is Dabu7. Wanted to take a look here at some of these maps that are projecting the most likely places to be affected by earthquakes here in 2017. Now, some of these places we know are prone to having earthquake swarms. Like, for instance, Southern California. They have their own swarm of natural quakes and sometimes man-made quakes from fracking in different areas. The combination usually has California swarming with smaller earthquakes. Now, in other areas that we see quakes associated with natural phenomenon would be, let's say, around Yellowstone here, where we've seen smaller quakes in West Yellowstone popping up due to the venting and the movement of magma under the ground. We've seen smaller quakes up here in the Pacific Northwest. And we've seen in the past quakes pop up right here in this specific area that they have shaded between Colorado and New Mexico, right there on the border. We've witnessed that before. And as you can see here on this map, Oklahoma having a large area this is having to do with human activity, induced quakes, where they're injecting fluids into the earth and it's causing a lot of issues. Now, I want you to also make note here, the big quake that struck up on the East Coast, they don't have that shaded at all, that whole region. What you do see here is right along the Smoky Mountains, the Carolinas, down into Georgia, Literally, this is where the Carolina Gold Belt runs, right down through here, just south of this. This whole smoky area mountain, they're saying, is susceptible uh, to quakes. And we've seen some smaller quakes there before. Now, the New Madrid. This is an area that has been long overdue for a big quake. Last time a big quake hit here, it caused sand dune mounds to pop up, caused the river to flow backwards, and caused a lot of chaos. It is long overdue, and it's obviously an area that can set off a big quake, and it's been quiet for some time. We have been seeing smaller quakes pop up here every now and then, but nothing super significant. If we start to see swarms pick up in this area, it's something to pay attention to. But as of right now, across the United States, things fairly quiet in terms of earthquakes. I talked about the probability of an earthquake hitting Oroville Dam when they fill it. If you missed that, we talked about it in Underground World News last night, and I did a separate video talking about the new gold rush in Oroville. And not only that, the proof and the evidence that they've shown that when they release a lot of water from these dams and then fill them up real quick, it causes earthquakes. How do we know this? Because the Oroville Dam, believe it or not, had a 5.7 earthquake when they did this back in 1975 showing proof that this dam itself can be hit by a big quake if they rapidly fill it back up. It's happened before. Not to mention we witnessed several smaller quakes when the thing was spilling over. But there's a look at the United States and where they project to see most of the quake activity. You can't roll out. You can see a random one in, in any spot, especially like what happened on the East Coast, but if you live in one of these areas, like I always say, make sure you have a plan. I will leave a link. It's been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.